Thanks everybody for your help in figuring out how to get the head off this thing. Sadly, it seems I may need a cylinder head. And probably the top part too. That's pretty scabby looking. This valve is stuck open. Uh, I think every other valve moved actually. I, I went around and just tapped them with a hammer and I could push a few down with my hands. So some valves did move, but this cylinder is not looking so hot. Right there, look, there's a lot of stuff there. If anything, at least I'd need a valve job done. These two center cylinders are not too bad. They got some stuff down here. This one, I'm surprised there's not a hole rusting. Oh, wow, look at that. Look, dude. That is, that is nuts. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff down there. That's wild. Like, this cylinder is completely full of, I don't know what, dust? Dirt? Rust? What is that? Probably don't want to breathe it in, but yeah, I think this cylinder head is complete junk. Darn, hey? That's too bad. So, I guess I'll be keeping an eye out for an engine. I am still going to completely take it apart and see if there's any chance whatsoever that cylinders can be honed. I doubt it. I mean, I think they're pretty much cooked, but I will try anyway. If anybody knows around central Newfoundland or even on the east or west coast of a CB750 engine, would you let me know? I don't have a lot of money to spend on it, but I will make it work if I can. Hmm. Well, I'm going to continue on as if this engine wasn't completely cooked and pull off that lower cylinder head. Obviously, I'm going to have to clean this up really well and, and pound on the top of those pistons for a few minutes to see if I can get them free so I can lift the head off. I'm glad I didn't push this too much because obviously you're not going to compress that. I'm going to continue on as if I were normal. There's gold in them there cylinders. <laughs>